Um, hey folks, uh, I'm Zach. I'm joined here by Ari. Today we are going to play a new paper computer game by Epic Worlds PCG. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's play a paper computer game. <laughs> Okay, so Ari, uh, welcome back to the show. Oh, no, you... Wait, what was that? I said hi. Ah. How, how are you, Zach? <laughs> I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm also doing well. Why is my video feed not going through onto your stream? I do not know. Um, I, I... Because I can see me, but... Like nothing else is seeing me. That's weird. Um, yeah, I have, I have no idea. If I pop this out, does that help? No. Yeah, I just, I just have completely no idea why that's happening. Um, so you can't see me. I cannot. That's weird. Okay, yeah. whatever. Um, do you want to keep going, or do you want to try and fix this? Um, do you have any ideas on how to fix it? Like, I, I just don't know anything to try. If, if you had a thing to that would work to fix it, we could we, you you could try it real fast. No idea. I mean, the only thing that I really know to try is like. Ah. <laughs> See what you did there. Um. Just gonna put on some music while we wait. Um, to read that, and you neglected to do that. I neglected to do what? Sorry, no, my VLC needs to let me Ooh, so what's the intro music? Oh, I'm just doing a regular, like, a comedic background music. Um, dark hallway and uh, ghost town and um, might add more to the list later but um, so what are we doing this evening so um, yes okay so I we have a uh, a paper computer game for you to play and cool. uh, this game is entitled Squid Ink. Cool. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, I, I read that wrong. This The title is actually called Squid Town. Uh, it takes place on Planet Shri, and it is by Epic Worlds PCG. Um, so everyone in the audience, you should check out his channel. Uh, he has made this game specifically for Ari to play. Um, so, um, okay. Ari, so... I am digging this title. I see <laughs> a dude with a squid on its head and glasses <laughs> holding a soup blaster. Oh my god, oh. what does a soup blaster do? I mean, blast soup, I would imagine. <laughs> nice. Okay, so here's the setup, all right? So, okay, so in this paper computer game, all right, it takes place uh, 40 years after the last PCG that you played with me, okay? Okay. And uh, you play as Zach, um, and you've been searching for Ari for years after he went missing. And your search has led you to the planet Shri, and you might remember Shri as uh, Ari, that, that's the planet that you were on for a bunch of PCGs. That's like the planet that Ginkus comes from and, you know, the one where you were trapped in the forest for a while. I don't know if you remember any of this. And being chased by that, like, monster thing. Yes, yes. All of that yeah. was on Planet Shri. So, uh, now Zack is returning to Planet Shri in search of Ari. Uh, you are playing Zack. Um, and... 
uh, you find yourself in um, at the outskirts of a town in on the planet tree and that town looks a little something like this okay so that is where you are uh, that's you near the bottom right um what do you do? Alright. Okay. So, population used to be 3,000. Is that what that says? Uh, yes. Alright, so I am Zach, right? Yes. Um, do I have any inventory? Uh, no. Interesting. Okay. So, because I'm Zach, presumably I stink. Is this correct? <laughs> it is most certainly not correct, good sir. <laughs> mm, I'm not sure that I uh, believe that, but <laughs> I, you are the uh, PCG master here. Um, so, what are these buildings around? So, um... Those are, you've got the old woodlock, according to the sign, and on the on the right you've got that uh, towery, that like uh, towery kind of building, um, it, which is an old watchtower, well, and uh, the there one. There are some people in the middle of the screen, so yes. naturally we should avoid them. Um, I would like to go into the woodlock. Okay, so that takes you to, um, all right. Takes you here. It's green. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there you are. You are in the woodlock. Um, and uh, yeah, you see, like it's sort of like a like a bar. Um, you see uh, there, there's like a bartender like scrubbing scrubbing the uh, the, uh, the the bar there. And um, I'm gonna go uh, take a take a seat at the bar. Okay. You go sit down. The uh, the 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 owner with like nods his squid head to acknowledge you. All right. Uh, what you got on tap, sir? He's like, well, we've got some uh, high quality ink. Uh, uh, how, how how's that? Sounds good. Pour me a pint. Coming right up. And he's like, he he pours it. He's like. He puts it down in front of you. He's like, um, I haven't seen you in these parts, or uh, you're not from around here, are you? No, I have no idea how I got here. I just showed up. <laughs> I'm looking for uh, looking for a friend of mine. Oh, a friend. Uh, you First, say why don't you tell me uh, what happened in this place? Well, you know, uh, this... Uh, you see, after... Like this town is sort of the leftovers of a Croton experiment. They were trying to make a squid army, but their experiments failed. So we're just kind of uh, we were just kind of left along the sidelines. So we we wanted to live in peace, and we we went off down here to 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 build this town deep in the forest of Shri, so that we could live in peace. But but uh, yeah, things weren't as great here as we thought because. You know, now they're th that... I mean, you've probably heard about the monster, right? No, I don't know anything about a monster. Oh, yeah, there's a monster. It's been uh, it's been feeding off of us for over a year. And, uh... And, uh... We, we would move out of Squid Town, but... 
you know, the Croden are still in charge of the planet, so so we can't really, there's not really anywhere safe for us to move to. Oh, wow. And so, um, are you just a local here? You said, I mean, you mentioned that they were creating uh, squid people for an army. Um, you're not a squid person, are you? Afraid I am. Oh, interesting. So, so they made you, and you guys took up residence in this here town. That's right. So, so what's this monster that's been hunting you guys? <sighs> well, let me tell you, you don't want to, you don't want to mess with that thing. I, I, I barely survived an attack by it. I. And like he he points to like the eye patch. He's like, the beastie gave me this. We went on a hunting mission with uh, there was five of five others, me and five others, so you know six people all together. And out of nowhere, the creature just pops out. It killed our entire group, but I managed to climb up a tree to escape. Oh my god! What does this thing look like? Well. I didn't, you know what, we never really get a good look at it, but I will tell you it lives up on the mountain. Uh, it's called Crag Isle, but uh, yeah, I, I, I don't recommend uh, going after it. Interesting, thanks for the info. I see you've got some uh, some posters on your wall. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like to stay, uh, you know, keep, uh, you know, uh, good decorations. I, I like to base it on, you know, historical events as much as possible. Um, who is this uh, Indiana Ari character that you've got back there? Oh, well, uh, you know, the legends say that uh, Indiana Ari was, uh, you know, he was a a significant figure in the history of Shri. They say he he uh, he was some guy named Ari from Earth, and he would swing from the treetops using his whip and his in his hat. You know, so so uh, yeah. That, uh, that was, I thought it would be good to have a uh, poster commemorating that. Oh, wow, that sounds like a pretty cool guy. Uh, you wouldn't happen to? Uh, I mean, he's not around anymore, is he? No, he hasn't been seen in decades. Oh, wow. Any idea what happened to him? Ah, wish we knew. If only he were here, he could probably save us all from the creature. There's gotta be some kind of uh, rumor, though. There were rumors that he showed up years back, but no one knows for certain. Maybe if you ask some of the other townsfolk, they might, they might know more than me, but... I, I, I haven't... I'm not up on the latest rumors. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll just... Uh, you, know, you being a barkeep and all, that's, you know, usually... You know, usually you guys hear things, huh? Well, you know, uh, we hear things about people, but it's been a while since anyone's talked about Ari, so... I wish I could be of more help. But... Uh, I will say, I wouldn't recommend going looking for Ari, because wherever he ended up, it's probably pretty dangerous. Huh. So what would you recommend? What's there to do on Shree? Well, you know, uh, we've got some uh, quality squid ink you could uh, you could uh, imbibe. Other than that, you can, uh, you're free to wander around the town and do whatever you like, but... Uh, yeah, I, I like it's like I said. There is the creature, so it's it's dangerous out there. Just stay safe. Ah, thanks. Cheers. I'm gonna take a swig of ink. All right, it's um horrifyingly disgusting, but uh, you get it down. Good. Well, I mean, I'm Zach. I like things like this. <laughs> that makes sense. That tracks. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, um, all right, well, thank you, sir. I'm gonna move on. I'm going to, uh, hold on to the, uh, hold on to the ink and, uh, leave with it. Okay, uh, you got the ink. Yes. 
and it's just in a mug. Yep. And, uh, you know, the, uh, the guy from behind you, by the way, his name is Ketchum. He says, I'll put that on your tab. Uh-huh, I bet you will. Thank <laughs> you, sir. Uh, cheers. Okay, so um, you go back out. Yes, back to the other screen. Okay, and you're back to the other screen. Right. And what is that thing behind the back of the building? Um, so that... Yeah, that is a barrel. I'll look in the barrel. It's a barrel full of ink. Mm. Okay. Me being Zach and liking things like this is going to jump into the barrel of ink. Okay. Um Well, the the, the top of the barrel is closed, so you just kind of like jump onto the top of it and now you're standing on the top of it. Oh, I'm going to open the barrel. Okay, you see ink inside. I'm going to jump in now. Sploosh! Okay, you are completely covered by ink. The smell is gross, and you're like, ugh, I got I got ink all over me. But yeah, okay, so uh, you're in the ink. <laughs> all right, so would you say, um, what is the current status of the character? Uh... Well, uh, w w w I mean, you're grossed out, and but you're uh, also uh, covered in black ink. All right. Um, would you, in your opinion, say that Zach stinks? <laughs> I guess I would have to concede that that is currently the case. <laughs> okay. So what is that? What is it, what is currently the case? That Zach stinks. <laughs> you are the worst. Excellent. Click it, boys. Um, all right. Uh, I am going to go find who are these crying people with the uh, possibly dead uh, squid person. Do we know what these... Did they say what they're called? Do you, is it squid people? Is that the uh, politically correct term? Uh, yes, it is squid people. And, um, okay. so, um, okay. So, yeah, uh, he is, uh, that, that guy on the ground, he is dead. The, the other squid person is holding the dead squid person. Um, and, and he's sort of like, just, um, looks like he's mourning. What do you do? I'm gonna go over and say, Hey, I'm Zach, how you doing? He says, Oh, it is a calamitous day. Uh, are, are you a newcomer to our town? Uh, yeah, I just got here. He says, My brother, Taverlin, was just killed by the creature. You should. Uh, oh my god, the creature is here? Uh, the bartender was telling me about it. He says, no, no, you're safe for now. The creature only attacks at night. But uh, stay safe out there. Oh, th thank you. Uh, what, what time of day is it, Zach? Uh, it's uh, daytime. So the character's name is Tamerlin, is the dead one? Taverlin, yes. Taverlin. Mm -hmm. And sir, what's your name? I'm Kiplin. So were you here when the attack took place? No. Taverlin must have wandered out at night. We've only just found his body. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, yes. It is a tragic day for all of us. Um, I mean, I, I see there aren't that many more people living in this town. What, what happened to all of you? The creature has been hunting us for many months. What's this, what's this creature called? We just call it the creature. 
We're a creature, okay. He says, whatever you do, don't go out at night. You don't want to provoke the wrath of the creature. Okay, I'll do my best to avoid uh, my best to avoid it. Um, so, what do you what do you do in this town, in, in Squid Town? Same thing you do in every in any town. What's that? You live. You uh, you you. We're just trying... We're a peaceful people. We're just trying to live here in peace, out of sight of the Croden, where they can't find us. You know, we're just trying to live our lives. You know, we go down to the to the tavern. We, you know, we, we make things just like any other people. We're just trying to live in peace. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm so sorry about being lost, but I mean... How, how can you live in peace? Weren't you guys bred for uh, for fighting? Yes, but we had no interest in that, so we fled. Gotcha. And now you're... Uh, I'm so sorry. Um, now your numbers are uh, dwindling. Tragically, yes. There are so few of us left. Hmm. Um... Say, you wouldn't happen to uh, have heard of anyone named Ari, would you? Oh, of course. Uh, who hasn't heard of Indiana Ari, a great hero who visited Shri many moons ago? Hmm. Just visited, huh? You haven't heard of anything more recently, right? Uh. I feel like I heard something? I can't remember what it was though. Uh, anyway, I can't. I don't know. I can't. I, I can't think about that right now. My my brother is gone. I, please forgive me. Are you having a funeral? Do you need me to help with anything? Uh, per- perhaps I. We, we have. We'll have to discuss with the family and and make arrangements. Well, I mean, how many? family members do you have here? It wasn't just you and, uh, your brother? I, I, there, there's, there's, uh, one or two others. Oh, I mean, is your family the only ones left in town? No, no, I believe you also met the, uh, the bartender, uh, Ketchum. Yes. Yes, he's, he's not part of our family. Okay, so it's just you, uh, and then your family. And do you guys live over in that silo over there? Uh, uh, no, that's, uh, that, uh, that is, that's an abandoned outpost. Oh, abandoned, what kind of outpost? Um... We used to use that as sort of like a watchtower to, 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 to spot Croden troopers. Okay, so you don't use that anymore? I mean, you'd think that a watchtower would be good to, you know, make sure there's no monster coming. Um... Well, frankly, the people who used to man it, uh, have been taken by the creature, so... There's no one to man it anymore. So, so what's your plan? What are you going to do? We're going to try to stay hidden and stay safe and not go out in the night and uh, hopefully weather this terrible season of attacks by the creature. Okay. Well, uh, good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you, good sir. Stay safe. Don't go out at night. I won't. Promise. Excellent. Um, so what's this thing uh, to the right of them? 
That looks like um, it's kind of like a like a sewer grate. Like it's it's a grate that like opens down into a sewer, and there's like a a, a, a lock, like a keyhole on it. Okay, I assume it's locked. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm going to go into the silo. Okay, so you go into the silo, and that takes you here. Okay. All right, what have we got here? Uh, um, ooh, there's a key up there. Hmm, indeed. <clears throat> We've got wood. Ooh, what does that say? Balzac Globetron? <laughs> Hard to read from down here, but it does look kind of like it says that, and... The design on it, yeah, kind of looks like uh, Balzac Lobatron's ship. Pretty cool. Um, so, very interesting. Um, I am going to climb the ladder. Okay. Um, you make it like a little over halfway up, but um, the ladder. It, like the rungs are broken, um, you know, a little more than halfway up, three rung, rungs in a row. So you, you can't climb beyond that. Uh, what do you, what what do you what do you what what, what, what do you do? So once I get up that high, um, how far apart are the rungs? Like how much distance do I need to make up? Hmm. I'd say um, the rungs are like three feet apart. So, um, and there's three rungs missing. So it's probably about um, nine feet that you need to make up. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, can I just like hold onto one side and then just try and climb up there? Because, you know, there are little nubs sticking out still. I can just grab onto those and pull myself up. Okay, yeah, that works. Um, you start cl just holding onto one side of the ladder. You're pulling yourself up. Um, you're using the, the nubs as hand and foot holds. Um, the first nub holds, but unfortunately when you put your foot on the second nub it kind of pops out and you weren't expecting that and you slip off and fall uh, to your death. So there's just like a dinky zap corpse laying there. Yep. Save game. Mm, I don't know. I just want to let this like <laughs> dinky corpse air out a little bit. <laughs> You um, jerk. Okay, so again. Um, <laughs> okay, I am going to... So, it's just a vertical ladder? Correct. Interesting. Okay, let's... So, we've got some wood on the floor here. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What about this... Poster. Is there anything beyond the Clouded Hopes poster? Uh, no. You you look behind the Clouded Hopes poster. It's just the wall. Okay. What's it fastened up with? Um, a uh, a nail. Can I uh, take the nail out? Sure. You got the nail. I have one nail. Mm hmm. Um, and this is just a vertical ladder up against the wall? Yep. So that's 9, 12 feet. Okay, so I am going to take the piece of wood at the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. And I am going to 
carry it up, and then I'm going to notch the bottom of it onto the rung that is the top one below the brakes, and stand that up. Oh. Okay, so wait, you're, 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 you're not, you're, like, resting the wood against the last rung that works, and you're, you're... Well, there's a knot in it, see? There's, wait, sorry, say again? There's, like, a hook or a notch in it. Ah, yeah. Okay. So that is going to go over the rung. Ah, okay. So, and then you're just, like, leaning it so that it... Um, yes. is, is that an angle? Okay, yep. th- that works. So now I'm going to take another piece of wood up. Mm-hmm. And I am going to kind of do the same with that piece of wood that's on the right. Okay. And I'm going to also, like, notch that in because it seems like it's got some little notches on it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to push them both to each side, and I'm going to, like, shimmy up between them. All right. Uh, I think that works. Nice. All right, you make it to the top of the ladder. What do you do? Um, so, what is on that wooden beam between, like, can I get onto that wooden beam from where I am? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, not too far. You can, uh, you can, uh, squeeze over there. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I am going to pick up one of the pieces of wood. I'm going to lift it and then kind of put it onto that platform ahead of me. And then get onto the platform with one of the pieces of wood. Wait, which platform? The one with, like, the... The, the le- one on the left. Okay, so, like, the beam with the key on it and all that. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, you, you, you got it there. Okay, so what are those spike things? Those are... spikes! Interesting. Okay, um, what about the poster behind me? Uh, so that is now, you can see quite clearly now, it is in fact a poster for Balzac Lobotron. Okay, I'm going to take it down. All right, you got a poster for Balzac Lobotron. Cool, what's it made of? Paper. Balzac, can you spell that for me? Sure. B A L Z A K. Uh, G-L-O-B-O-T-R-O-N. P-O-S-T-E-R. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, cool. And it's fastened with a nail? Yes. Okay, so now I have two nails. Okay. And the post. Yep. Okay, I'm going to lay down that piece of wood across the spikes so I can walk over it. Alright, the wood sticks into the spikes uh, just as you had intended and you are indeed able to walk over it. Okay, let me grab that key. Alright, you got a key. Excellent. Um, is there anything at the other end of this uh platform that I can't see. It puts off the other distance. Uh, no, it's just another wall. Okay. I am going to go down with Uh. my newly acquired key. Alright, you make it back down. Uh, cool. I'm going to go outside. Okay, you go back outside, back to the town screen. Uh, hey, Kiplin, I haven't seen anyone else around. Is it just you and the bartender in town right now? Or is everyone else? He said, uh, there's, there, there's three others. They're, they're, they're around somewhere. I, I, I don't know. I can't keep track. Okay. Um, so, 
Is there any more town off to the left of this screen? Um. Wait, what's to the left? Yeah, I think, you know, I think, like, there's a bunch more, like, houses and stuff just, uh, you know, around that, that are, like, not on this screen, but they're around. It's just the thing is that most of them are, you know, um, abandoned because, you know, almost everyone is dead. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's just, like, a lot of empty houses and buildings and stuff. That's super creepy. Yeah. Um, and there are no people over there in them. Not that you see, but, I mean, you know, I mean, there's a lot of, there, there's like a bunch of houses. Like, remember, this was a town of 3,000 people. So, maybe there's people in one of them, I don't know, but, uh, yeah. Like, you don't see any uh, from where you are. Okay. Um, what if I go off to the right? Is there another screen? Uh, no, it's just, I mean, it's just like, um, just more houses off in both directions. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to see if the key fits the sewer grate. It does! Mm, I'm gonna open it. Could you? Okay. Yeah. The, um... The uh, sewer grate opens, and that leads you to um. Sorry. Uh, hey, careful! You ever been down here? Oh no, no, certainly not. Uh, that's that 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 that's 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 the sewers. Yeah, but why wouldn't you go into the source ever? Don't squeeze the source. <laughs> He's like, sir, that is uh that is an offensive comment <laughs> right there. Oh, wow, I'm so sorry. And just after your uh your brother died, I can't believe that I would say something like that. Ah, that's okay. I un I understand. Uh, it's a, it's a common mis uh misunderstanding. Anyway, uh, yeah, I sent you the screen. That... I keep with. Good luck, good sir. Thank you. Um, okay, is there anything down here? Uh, uh, what is? Is that a boat? It is indeed. Is that an oar? It is indeed. Uh, okay, and then there's just like a pathway along the sewer. Is it flowing in any direction? Uh, yeah, it's flowing, like, towards the top of the screen, like, so, you know, north, I guess. Okay, and where is it flowing from? Can I see? Um. Is it dark in here? Yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it's sort of dark. I mean, you can see what you're doing, but, I mean, you can't see super far into the tunnel in either direction. Um, like, it's, it's flowing from, you know, the direction towards the bottom of the screen towards the top. Um... And, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to just get in the boat. All right, you get on the boat. Uh, it is currently tied to the, uh, to the, to a, to a tether at the, um, on the land where you were. Okay, I'm going to grab the oar and untie the tether. All right, you are carried on the current. And it takes you here. <laughs> oh God, company. Um, wait, if I'm Zach, what do I know about the company? Um, yeah, the company is like Zach's, um, main enemy. Like, you've been fighting them basically your entire life. They're an evil organization that is 
Like, you don't really know what they do, but they do a lot of really bad things. They're responsible for creating Zuvak, who you rescued from them, and he's become your friend. But yeah, basically you've been fighting all your life to undermine the company's, um, the company's actions. Okay, I'm oh. going to try and eavesdrop on the, any conversation between those two up on the, uh, on the dock. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the, these two are talking to each other, um, you know, through conversation, um, you get that, uh, the squid guy's name is Kent, and the other guy is mustache man and they're <laughs> they're 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 like you see them exchanging um mercado coins and you know like listening in the conversation it sounds like it's it's like um one of them is saying <laughs> yeah that's this is a uh, pretty powerful uh, supposedly you know according to the shadow this should be able to kill the creature Oh, excellent. They're trying to kill the creature. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go up on the dock and approach them. And what? Approach them. Okay, you approach them? Oh, I'm going to, like, dip some of the uh, ink from my mug. I'm going to, like, dip my fingers in and draw a mustache on my face. <laughs> I like this. Okay. Um, you approach them, and they're like, what? Who is that? Hey, I'm Mustache Zack. How are you guys doing? Mustache Zack? Wait, is, is, is that the same as regular Zack? Yeah, of course. Mustache well, man I've is. I've got this new mustache, so I'm <laughs> obviously, uh, obviously evil now. The, the com- uh, mustache man goes, Zach can't be trusted. Kill him!" And they both like pull out guns and they're like, pew, 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 pew. they're like shooting at you. What do you do? Um, I'm going to hide behind one of those shipping boxes. Okay, you hide behind the shipping boxes so they can't uh, see you immediately. Um, but they're both uh, circling around in opposite directions to try to, like, uh, flank you. What do you do? Mm. Is there a way to open up the shipping box? Um, yeah, I think you could, you know, with some effort, you could pry it open. Okay, what's inside? Um, it is... It's like a large device. Um, and yeah, it's it's a, it's like a large device. It looks like a powerful weapon. Uh, are there any buttons or switches or triggers on it? Yeah, there's like a there's there there's a there's like a large uh trigger. Okay, I'm going to grab the weapon and point it at Mustache Man. Okay, you try to grab the weapon, but the weapon is, like, just really heavy. Um, so you try to lift it, and you're like, Ugh! and while you're struggling with it, they have enough time to get behind you, and poof, you're dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, weakness is starting me again. <laughs> All right, same game. Okay. <laughs> All right, you're back. Okay. Um. Okay, I am going to paint my mustache on and approach these guys again. Okay. Um. Kent is like, "Whoa, who's that?" And mustache man is like, "I don't know." He looks weirdly familiar. I feel like I don't want to trust oh. him, but 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 I can't deny the handsomeness of that mustache. Yeah, it is a pretty cool stash, huh, dude? My name's Mustache, dude. What's your name? 
Oh my god, no way! I'm Mustache Man! What? Oh no, dude, that's so cool. <laughs> no way! Oh man, that is so cool! Uh, 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 how'd, how'd you get your mustache? Oh man, dude, just through so much work. Just so much endless, tireless work. It's oh, and... I know, you I know. know. I've been shaping, I've been like greasing and inking it just to get like the perfect mustache. Oh god, it, like people just don't understand how much work we have to do, right? I mean, it's just it's just so yeah. un so ridiculous. Man, but I, I must say you really uh you, 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 you the result is quite good. I'm 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 quite impressed. Thank you. And let me say your your mustache is one of the mo one of the most impressive I've I've ever seen mustache. Oh, thank you so much. I, I I take great pride in my mustache. You know, I do I, I do put um, a lot of work into it. And what's your uh, friend here? He's got a pretty nice stash himself. I mean, I'm not nearly as nice as yours, mustache man. But who, who's your friend? He's like, oh, this is uh, this is Kent. Uh, Kent. Uh, uh, you know that now that's Kent spelled with a Q, of course. But. Uh, uh, yeah, Kent uh, has a has a pretty okay mustache himself, and Kent is like, hmm, oh, yeah, I suppose I suppose I do. Uh, yeah, this a mustache. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, Kent, you're so modest. <laughs> well, you know, it's a. Um, Kent goes, well, you know, I. Uh, it's hard for us squid people to grow stashes, but uh, with a lot of work, it is possible. So. You know, like I don't, ex I don't expect to be compared to the likes of you, but uh, I, I, I try, I try. Hey, so what are you guys doing down here? They're like, oh well, oh, uh, uh, no one's supposed to know about this. Uh, uh, like uh, Kent turns to Mustache Man. You sure we can trust this guy? Mustache Man turns to you. He's like, oh, Mustache Dude, we can trust you, right? You can trust me. I mean, on my mustache, you can trust me. Oh, and the mustache man's like, oh, see, see, look, look at this guy. Who, who, look at that mustache. Who, who could, who could distrust that stash? Um. That's right. All right. So, um, like Ken says, oh, all right, uh, it is a good stash. Oh, well, uh, this is a, this is a. Uh, Weapon capable of, of killing, the creature. Um, and oh, that's fantastic! I've heard it's been causing some horrible devastation to your town. Um, like the mustache man is like, <laughs> yeah, that's right, devastation. I mean, that's what that's what we want, right? To uh, you know. You know, we, 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 but uh, you know, we want to, we we want, we want to cause the trouble, not the, not the creature. We want the town for ourselves. Oh yeah, of course, of course you do. And uh, what do you think of that, Kent? Kent is like, hmm. Well, uh, uh, we were. Uh, oh, he's like, we were created for, for a purpose, and. All those other dimwits in town have been have been turning their backs on the noble purpose they were created for. If you ask me, someone needs to round them up and bring them back in for what they were designed for. All right, well, that sounds like a great idea. Why don't you guys get to it? I mean, you guys don't need help, do you? Um, Mustache Man says... You know, now that you mention it, we do need somebody to actually use this weapon and, and you know, kill the creature for us. Uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't suppose Kent is like mustache man. We, we, we can't do that. We, we, we're trusting this guy too much already as it is. Mustache man, man is like, yeah, but, but that stash, you just know he's not gonna let us down. Well, I mean, I have been known to hunt and take down creatures in my past. Like, Mustache Man's like, you see? Perfect! Kent is like, fine. 
So, um, they agree to let you have the weapon if you will go kill the creature. Oh, most definitely. Fantastic. I mean, fantastic. Uh, I'll just, uh, so you'll do, uh, to, uh, what you want to do is you'll want to go back the way you came and just uh, sneak out. And, uh, like, uh, Kent is like, don't let the other dimwits see you. Mustache man is like, yes, yes, uh, dimwits, whatever. Uh, we we want to help our uh, our our buddies in the Croton, you know. So uh, yeah, it, it's important to uh, not step on any of their toes. But you you know, well, the the way to do this is to you know go back the way you came and climb up on top of that mountain, and from there you should have a pretty good vantage point to kill the creature. All right, now. You guys want to kill a creature so you can come take over the town, you were saying? He's like, well, you know, we're sort of doing this to help out our buddies in the Croton. Like, they want to take over the town, but, you know, we're all part of the Alliance, so it's all, it's you know, it's all in the Alliance. You know how it is. Yeah, of course, of course. For the Alliance. Yeah, um, for the Alliance, yeah. All right, well, great. Um, I'll just take this, and uh, I'll get my two uh, monster hunting. All right, you're you're the be- you are a lifesaver, man. I don't know what I would have done without you. Oh no, well, I mean, I just I just see a stash, and I'm just like, oh man, that dude, I gotta help that bro out. <laughs> oh man, I salute you, and that like you keep up the good work on that stash. Oh yeah, thanks you too. But I mean, you know. You don't even need to do anything. It's just perfect. Oh, thanks so much. You are, you are too kind. Um, is there anything else, like, down here, or is it just, like, the end of the dock and, like, walls and stuff? Yeah, just just the end of the dock and walls and stuff. Okay, I'm going to... So it's just, there's, like, a weapon in each crate? Um... The, uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going to take one out. Hey, you guys, uh... Want to give me a demonstration for how this works, or we can do a test shot? Oh, certainly. We like come over. Like, look, see, this over here is the targeting reticule, and it's like it's like a a, a little screen pops up, and it like it's like this will track uh, the unique signatures given off by the creature. Now, uh, if you pull this here trigger, and he points to like the really big trigger on the underside of it, it'll fire. But we don't want to do that in here. The explosion would be so big, it would just kill all three of us. It's just a really powerful weapon, because that's what's needed to kill the creature. All right. Thanks, dude. Thanks, mustache man. Thanks, Kent. Oh, oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. Okay, so how did these guys get here? Is there any, like, mode of transportation? Um, it looks like they both came in by boat from Elsa in the in the sewers as well. Okay, I'm going to go row out of here. All right, you row um back the way you came with my uh, new company weapon. Yes, you got the weapon. I, I am um okay. So um you go back the way you came. You row back down the uh, the uh, sewer and you come back to where you started. And I imagine you climb back up to the town. Yes. All right, you are back back up here. Hey, uh, Kipling, do you know anyone named Kent? Oh yeah, yeah. Kent is a. Kent is a, kind of a weird guy. He's been sort of uh, isolating himself, uh, but you know, uh, we we just sort of leave him alone. We don't bother him. Oh, very interesting. Um, you know, how about the uh, the company? Have you heard of them? The company. The company wasn't yeah. that one of the wasn't that like uh, one of the members of the alliance? Yeah, I think so. Do you know the Alliance? Well, yeah, I mean, like, the Croden that we're running from, they're, like, they they sort of started this this galactic alliance. I I think now they're calling it the Shadow Alliance or whatever, but it's just this galactic alliance of, uh, of, you know, 
fascist evil dictator powers basically uh just like i mean obviously i'm most familiar with the croton here on Shri, but they you know because they're the ones we escaped from but we are aware they have a bunch of allies that come from varying different planets i think the company was from uh was it earth or was it or, or was it like mars or something uh, that is one of those planets i don't know yeah, that sounds right. I've been fighting the company on Earth for a long time. Oh, have you? Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Um, now, where does the creature come into all this? Why would the company want to get rid of the creature? So, huh, the company? Well, well I, I doubt there'd be anyone from the company here. Uh, it would probably be the Croton, if anything, who want to get rid of the creature because, I mean, they've been scared away from Squid Town. They used to come and raid Squid Town trying to enslave us again, but lately they've given up because the creature attacks their troops just as much as it attacks our people. So they've had to give up on that. But, I mean, I could imagine, if anything, like they might want to get rid of the creature so they can come and enslave us again. And how would you feel about that? Horrified. I mean, we, we we came out here to the to to into the forest so we could start our community and live here uh, safely in peace. Uh, we we wanted to get away from. Them. So in that case, I mean, the creature just killed your brother, but the creature is also kind of protecting you guys, huh? Yeah, it's kind of a catch twenty two. We're kind of we're kind of you know damned if we do, damned damned if we don't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, do you think there's anything I can do about it? Because they just let me take this giant gun, and they want me to go kill the creature. What? And that doesn't sound like a good idea. He says that sounds really dangerous. I, I would, I would just say, uh, uh, stay safe. Just, just stay inside. I, I, don't, don't, don't mess around with the creature. Just, just, just stay safe. I, I wouldn't want you to get hurt. So you're just happy with the status quo then? Well, no, I'm not happy with the status quo, but it's just like, you know, what can you really do about it? And if you go out, if you go after the creature, you're just going to get yourself killed. Gotcha. Okay. And the creature hangs out up on the mountain? Um, well, uh, yeah, like they say, yeah, he, uh. It, yeah, it does live up on the mountain. Okay, what about the uh, the Shri? Where are they? Or the Croton? Oh, the Croton. Um, they like they're in control of this entire planet. They they inhabit all the big cities. They have troops everywhere. You know, they're they're, they're the main government. We're just a small community that's found um, a. Uh, isolated corner just far from the from any Croton settlements in, you know deep in the forests of Shri uh, here in this valley uh, so we're so uh, they're far away but you know if not for the creature they they you know they can they can travel quickly so they'd be able to get here pretty fast oh yeah definitely um, now you haven't you haven't heard of Ari you said that you just needed some time to jog your memory right He's like, yeah, I, I I haven't heard anything. Sorry, man. All right. Well, let me know if you do. I'm gonna go uh, go take this big company weapon and turn it against them. Oh man, don't do that. Uh, stay inside. Stay inside. Stay inside. Is that all you want to do? Well, I want to not die. Mm, well, it seems like you guys are dying anyway. Uh, but why? Why it's did? Why did Lar? <laughs> it is a catch twenty two. Ah, uh, Taverlin, why did you have to go outside at night? Why? And he, uh, he's he's breaking down in tears again. Mm. Okay. Um, what happens if I head towards the mountains? All right, you start uh, moving towards the mountains, um, and um, that that takes you. 
Here. Hold on, it's ending. There you go. Ooh, nice. I am going to start climbing the path. Okay. Pardon me. Um, you start uh, walking up the path. Um, the steps are um, nicely carved out. They are called you know, according to a little carving at the base of it, the steps are called the steps of time. <laughs> and, uh, cool. yeah, it, 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 like it, it zigzags back and forth. So you're following those stairs up for like half an hour. You know, you're getting kind of tired, but eventually you get up there. And it does lead you to a cave. Ooh, let's go in the cave. Okay. Um, the cave, you go in the cave entrance, and it takes you here. Oh my god, what's, what are all these things? So we've got more posters, huh? <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, are they just posters, or are there, like, other sides to them? Um, it, it looks like you... They look like just posters, just, like, paper just on the ground. Okay, um, and those are wave heads on spikes? Um... Yes. And there's a barrel that says the company on it? Yeah. By the way, it's super dark in here. You're only seeing any of this with your cell phone light. Hmm. Okay. Um. I don't have any type of flashlight. Oh, you, you, your, your cell phone has a flashlight. Does the weapon have a flashlight on it? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take out the weapon and, like, put the, uh, targeting light on to try and illuminate this place. Okay. Uh, it works. You can, uh, you can, uh, see. Okay, what's the thing in the back right? Um... The thing in the back right, so that um hold on. It it looks like it's just a costume. It's just like a costume like mounted on a stick. It's like the costume of a beast. Cool. Yeah. Interesting. Um, and what's over, where they go, wait, what's the barrel? Is there anything in it? Um, yeah. So looks like the barrel, it's labeled the company and um, and it like, if you look inside the barrel, there's like, um, it you like there's a weird kind of oil in it. You recognize it as Gron oil. What is Gron oil? It's um, it's a form of oil that comes from the living moon Gron Fresnel. Uh, it's used commonly as a source of fuel for, for uh, spacecraft. Okay. Cool. Um, so I'm going to go up to the person in the corner. Okay, uh, you go up to him, like that's on the top left corner, right? Yes. 
Okay. So, as you come closer, you hear some crunching. And then... And then... You go, you go closer to that guy, and you recognize him. It's Ari! Oh my god, Ari. And, um... <laughs> um he's like he's like <laughs> no Ari what are you doing he says is he eating that is he eating that squid person head yeah oh no <laughs> Ari I'm here to save you Ari what happened he oh says my god. No, stay away from the precious. No. <laughs> what precious? <laughs> like he 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 um acts like protective towards like the squid head he's he's like trying to eat. Okay, I'm going to tackle Ari and take the uh, take the thing away from him. Ah! He he like he just goes absolutely wild. He's like scratching you, and he he's like trying to bite your neck, and he like sinks his teeth into your flesh, and uh, it's it's uh, it's pretty painful. Okay, I'm gonna restrain him. Okay, um, with uh, since he's like pretty uh, dehydrated and whatever, you are successfully able to um uh to to. Restrain him. Okay. Um, I'm going to take the thing and chuck it away from him. Um, I'm going to offer him some ink to drink. I'm like, dude, you look dehydrated. You got you to gotta get some of this in you. He's like, no! The precious! The precious! He's just, like, struggling wildly. <laughs> <laughs> What's so precious about that? Mine. Okay, well, I mean, you can hold on to it if you want, but you need to come with me and get out of this place. Arr! He, like, rips the, the squid out of your hands and starts eating it and, like, glares at you out of the corner of his eyes, like, disapprovingly. Okay, okay. You can keep eating it. Why don't you uh, take that with you and we'll climb down the mountain. He uh he continues glaring at you and doesn't say anything. Okay. Um So, I'm going to take the monster costume and I'm going to put it on. Okay, you go put on the monster costume and he's like no! No! Okay. Ari, I mean, I'm sure you recognize me um, as Zack, right? You know who I am? Uh, he, like, well, since you're wearing the costume, he's, like, freaking out, because, like, he's like, no! No, not a beast! Okay, I'm going to chase him out of the cave. Okay, um, you like you chase him out of the cave. He runs away from you, like still holding onto his dead squid head. Ah! Um, okay, I'm going to get the dead squid head out of his hand and then uh, like chase him out of here. And then like what? And then chase him out of here. Okay, um, you, like, you smack the dead squid head out of his hand, and he's like, no, no, and he's, like, flailing at you, like, trying to get past you to get it, but then you, like, you act all scary with your costume, and he's, like, afraid to go past you, but he keeps, like, trying. He seems, like, jittery, kind of, like, almost like an addict, you know, like, <laughs> you know, like, and, uh... Okay, so, um, I'm at the entrance to the cave, and he's outside it. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, um, I'm going to take the weapon and shoot it into the cave. 
<laughs> just massively destructive. Rocks shower everywhere. Um, a, a huge cloud of smoke um, uh, comes out and like envelops you. Like you, both you and Ari are are coughing. Ari's still like trying to get back inside frantically. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take the costume off. Ari, look, it's done. The squid head is gone. He's like, no, precious, precious. And he's like trying to dig at the rocks, like, you know, because a lot of rocks collapsed by the entrance. He's trying to like, uh, like dig at the, at the, at the, um, entrance to try to get back inside. Okay, I'm going to hang out here with him and just let him tucker himself out. Okay, um, he keeps doing that after a while. He tries to attack you, but he's already wasted a lot of energy. So he's like, so his attacks are ineffectual. He's just kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, you're able to easily fend him off. Eventually, he tuckers himself out and, like, uh, gets, uh, yeah, tired. Okay, so I'm going to take the outfit off. Or I, I think I already have it off and put it in my inventory. And I'm going to carry Ari down the mountain. Okay, so you carry him down the mountain. Um, he's every now and then he tries to struggle again, but um, each time you're able to restrain him. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. I got you. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> all right, you get him down the mountain. Now what? Um, so wait, so how did I get here? Oh, um, you, uh, hitched a ride with your, uh, with your friend, uh, Balzac Lobatron. He kind of, like, uh, dropped you off on this planet for you to look for Ari. Okay, do I have a way to contact Balzac? Um, he's gonna swing back, uh, around in a few weeks. And he'll contact you then. A few weeks? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Um, okay, I'm going to take Ari and we're going to go uh, hide out in the uh, in that tower in the town. All right. So you drag um, Ari back into the the old watchtower. Now uh, you have him there, um, and um, the the people as you're going in like some of the people are like you know like wait what what are you what are you what, what's what's going on but you're like but yeah uh, what do you say to that oh i'm gonna go to the, oh i found ari he was being uh held captive by the monster they're like oh my goodness um uh maybe like shouldn't uh, maybe maybe you should get him some sort something to heal him. Do you have anything? Um, not me personally, right. but I I always go to catch him for a good pick me up. All right, I'm gonna go over what catch him was in the bar. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring him to the bar. Um. Okay. Um. Ketchum's like, goodness, what is wrong with that guy? Why is he covered in blood? Oh, I, he just needs to be cleaned up. He's uh, been in a bad way. I need, does you have anything to help him? Um, he's like, well, uh, you could try the uh, spell cure potion. That's my uh, signature drink. It, uh, it uh, can cure any hex or spell that's been put on a creature. Oh my god, can I get some of that? Uh, certainly. He he whips some up um, and um, he he gives it to you. It's like a bubbling uh, con like a concoction in a mug. Okay, I'm going to feed it to Ari. Okay, um, so uh 
he yeah, all right, you feed it to Ari, and he's like, no, go, 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 go. like he's resisting at first, and but and you have to kind of force it down his throat. But after a few gulps, he like it's like the the haze over his eyes is removed, and he's like, what, what, Zach? What's going on? just been going crazy on this planet? I don't know what's going on. You tell me what's going on. How did you get here? He's like, oh, my, my head. I, somebody, somebody, t- what do I even remember? He's like, one of the, I, uh, l- let's see. The last thing I remember, I was on my ship. I wasn't even headed for this planet. Wait, maybe I, now that you mention it, I feel like I was going to make a pit stop here for fuel. And then I feel like I saw somebody. Oh, like he rubs his head. It, it's like it hurts. He's like, I I, I saw somebody. So, so, eyes. They're yellow glowing eyes. I, I, that's all I remember. Is that what the monster looks like? He's like, monster? There's a monster? Yeah, supposedly. That's what these guys were uh, afraid of. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? He's like... Uh... Monster. Monster. Well, we're gonna be holed up in this town for a couple weeks until... Um, until Balzac comes back to pick us up. So we're going to have to defend this place against the company. I got this big gun so we can do it, but you need to get yourself in fighting shape. Okay. Okay, I'll try. He looks down at his hands. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's me, isn't it? I'm the monster. Seems like you were under some kind of a curse. He was like, a curse? What did I do? Oh god! And uh, that is the end of the game. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what a twist! I know! <laughs> So Epic Worlds, who created this game, is in chat. He says, so basically to fill everyone in, Ari was captain of the Frankensquid ship, and now he stopped here for fuel, and then I'll share the rest after he finishes. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, at the end of the last game, um, Ari was, like, taken over by something, right? So, mm-hmm. That is yeah. true. Although, according to the backstory... This game takes place 40 years after that game, so... Yikes, I wonder what you've been doing this whole time. Um, I mean... Annihilating squid people. (laughs) Apparently. At least least on equal opportunity, and have been also taking out the the alliance. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) that's true. (laughs) At least that's worth something. (laughs) Alright, well... Um, Epic says, thanks for playing my game, and he says, I shall make a sequel. Cool. Thanks for making the game. This was fun. Yeah, thanks for playing. Um, yeah, so, uh, that was, uh, that was, that, 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 that was pretty cool. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I need to go and run an errand real quick. So, thanks for, uh... Thanks for the game, and this was fun. Yeah, of course. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your errand. All right. Later, dude. Later. Thanks, Epic Worlds. All right. See you, dude. Okay. So, um, 
I was not, yeah, that whole time I was not able to, like, watch chat because, um, you know, I was too busy, like, playing the game. Like, both of my monitors are fully taken up by, like, you know, well, first of all, all of this stuff. But on the other monitor, I have OBS as well as the script of the game as well as the screens of the game. So, yeah, um, let, I, I kind of want to go back and see what chat has been saying this whole time. Like, from the beginning. Well, like, let, yeah, let's see. Um, what's up, fellow PCGer? Uh, let's see. Loving the epic posters in the background. Aha! Aha! Thank you. Yes, indeed. Um, epic World says, Also, guys, there will be a sequel to this game, too. This is kind of like my series I'm making for Ari and Zach. Um... Z uh, Epic World says, Zach, you said in the description box of this video that you're playing a game by Yak. I did? Wait, what? Let me... Um... Oh! Oh, but in the description box. I see the problem. I'm playing a PCG by... Because I reused settings from another stream. Sorry about that. Epic... Epic Worlds PCG. There we go. Much better. Okay, so yeah, what else? Let's see. Um I like how you're expanding on this story, Zach. Well done. Thank you. I mean, like, you pretty much have to. Like, Ari asks questions. It forces me to make stuff up on the spot, you know? Um, what, what else are you going to do? Um, Epic World says... Uh, sorry, I wasn't looking to chat. Epic World says, I haven't planned it really, but I do know I want to make some sort of Agent Peanut PCG in the future. Cool. HMB says, I'm still planning to make Agent Peanut PCGs until the foreseeable future. Yes, awesome. Um... After Agent Peanut escapes, I've just been planning the future of the franchise and like what the plot will be and stuff. And Via comes in. Of course, this poor Taverlin. I know, I know, poor Taverlin. Um. Epic World says Frank is also a squid person. Ah, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> um. Epic World says, okay, now I really need to make Indiana Ari in the Fader Tree. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Via says Indiana who? Indiana Jones, but now Indiana Ari. Via says, oh, I know. I just wanted to use that emoji. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Okay. Via says, I made a short for PCGs in Espanol. Epic World says, see. Sí. I'll watch it when you upload it, Via. Via says, it premiered today. I forgot to watch it. Well, you still can watch it. It's It's like, it's up there on YouTube. Which, by the way, yeah, y'all should check that out, like, uh, on, on, on YouTube. Like, yeah, let's see. Um, Epic World says, I love that channel because it helps me learn more Spanish. Yeah, that's awesome. Is that the squirrel attack one? Via says, it's uploaded so you can watch after the stream. Epic says, yes, I'll watch after this. Awesome. I have to watch it, too, after this, by the way. I mean, granted, I was there when it, like, uh, and, and helped her make it. But, nonetheless, I want to actually see it on YouTube. Um... Epic World says, Zach, um, next I'll make a PCG for you and Chris to play, then one for you and Via. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Um, Epic World says, and I'll have to figure out a way to somehow interconnect them. Oh my goodness. Via says, that'll be epic. Yeah, for real. Epic says, yeah, and they will just all be on the PCG shop and like, and just like this one so anyone can play. Nice poster in the background, Zach. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm quite pleased with it myself. Um, yeah, but it was so cool how he has mine. Oh, wait. Um... Via says he has many posters and a ton of comics and action figures. Epic World says I should make another one, but of Poyencio. Via says, Si. Ari es inteligente y buena persona. That's Spanish for Ari is intelligent and a good person. Yeah. Oh, pardon me. Um, Epic says if that's okay with you because it is your character. Via says, Yes, I would love it if you use it for a PCG. Epic says, Awesome, I'll work on that next. 
via you should work on a PCG poster with Blender or something. I already have Zach's poster, and it would be cool to have one by you, too. Chris said he was possibly going to make one for Ghost, too. Via said, oh, yeah, that would be awesome. Via says, you know, I never finished that Poyensu character I was making on 3D. It would look great as a poster. Yeah. Via says, I would have to include some of the other characters I've made. Epic Girl says, yeah, or you could use some of mine soon if you wanted. Man, like this entire conversation is going on while we're while we're t playing the PCG. <laughs> um, Via says, some I have forgot about completely. Epic World says, well, thankfully Zach has your old PCG playthroughs. Via says he does. Epic World says, yeah, I think he has one about cows on the channel somewhere. Yeah, it's there. If you want to check out cows the PCG, it's uh, it's on the channel. Um, Via says. This conversation is making me want to make a PCG right now. Epic's like, yeah, me too. Via says, you're responsible for this Epic. He's like, yeah, success. And anyway, Epic says, this is a very action-packed screen. That was the uh, the screen in the docking bay. Um, I just realized all I have to do is make six more PCGs and I'll hit the 200 mark. Definitely do the video for that. <laughs> Epic World says, haha, mustache man has met his match, yes. <laughs> Poor mustache man. Via says, okay, she has to go. Thanks for talking to me while we both watch Indiana. Ari and his great adventures. Um, Epic World says, this is unfolding perfectly. I think for the sequel, Ari will help the remaining squid people escape Shree. Oh my god, yes. Epic World says, you guys are super fun to watch play PCGs. I'm laughing so hard. Oh my god, this is hilarious. <laughs> uh, this is not what I would expect Ari to do. Interesting. So, be like, um, yeah, by the way, if anyone in chat wants to, like, feels the urge to, um, uh, to, you know, clip any part of this stream and, like, re-upload it, feel free. Uh, you are definitely welcome to do that. Um, I, yeah, um, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, um, Epic World says, so, yeah, okay, we read that part. That was so epic. Thanks for playing my game. Wow, that was fun to watch. I laughed so much. That's fine. I helped Via and inspired Via to make a PCG, and she also told me she uploaded a short on the PCG Spanish channel. Epic World says this would be a perfect video for Zach's stream clips. Yeah, totally. Yeah, totally. Um, yeah, um, anyone watching should, um, which I assume is just epic at this point, but uh, yeah, anyone watching should feel free to take any clips from this and like submit them to Salman. Um, I'm sure he would be happy to you know, upload any good clips you send him. Like, that'd be, that'd be awesome. I, like, I might do that myself, although my efforts for the time being are probably going to be, um, uh, focused on, uh, whatchamacallit. Um, well, I'm making a PCG, PCG news video, which I'm trying to get out by the end of the month, and also... Also, the gnome video, also trying to get out by the end of the month. Also, making shorts. I don't know. I'm 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 trying to do a bunch of stuff, dude. Like I I have like I today I started like writing down some notes for a video for the PCG theory channel. Um, so maybe that'll happen. I don't know. I don't know. I have so many freaking PCG projects, you guys. You guys. I don't know. I don't know what I'm working on. Epic World says, is the PCG expansion pack at your house yet? Um, no, I haven't seen it. I mean, unless it's out there and I just am not aware of it, but I haven't seen it yet. Um, Epic World says, also I have lots of exciting TCG and PCG projects that will be unfolding in the future. Oh, I have no doubt. I have no doubt. You have been, like, uh, very consistent, which is, which is super awesome. Uh, Epic says again, Zach, now that I have a PC, PC and a Photoshop, I can help with anything you need. Oh, thanks so much, dude. Uh, much appreciated. Um, I don't know. I don't know what. I like nothing. But I will definitely keep that in mind if, um, in case I think of anything I need help with. Thanks so uh, much. Appreciated. Um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Want to check the wiki? Mm. I haven't since I since I got back. I don't know. I am getting kind of tired, and I do have to work in the morning. So I'm thinking maybe I'll 
Uh, I'm thinking of maybe ending this stream. If I start getting into the wiki, I'll get sucked into it. So, yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll, um, I think I'll end the stream and I'll try to do another wiki stream in the near future as well, so that we can we can properly devote the correct amount of time to that as well. Um, that's fine. Thanks so much for playing my game. Super entertaining. You're very welcome, dude. Thanks so much for making the game for us. That was awesome. Um, I had fun playing that. That was that that was a that was an awesome PCG. Uh, I like the I like the twist ending for sure. Um, I, I tell you, I was playing by the seat of my pants because like I did not have like I just got home from work. I did not have any time to read the script beforehand. So like legit, like I downloaded it and like started. Um, looking at the script like three minutes before we started playing and I read like the introduction and like that's it so everything else I was completely just spitballing like while Ari was talking I was like also reading the uh, the uh, you know the description of the screen and when he would ask something I'd be like uh hold on let me like skim the <laughs> skim the script real fast and uh, try it. and like a lot of this information is like not specifically, you know, like in the script. So like like the barrel behind the behind the tavern. So I would just like make it up. So I hope I hope I didn't like totally contradict, you know, your vision. But I was just trying like I had to make up something. You know, I had to like and it, and at each point I was like um, I was like oh man like. You know, I hope I'm not contradicting what's going to be in the rest of the game. Like, the part where he's like, oh, are there any other houses? And I'm like, uh-oh. Like, if, do I do I say there's other houses off to the left? Or, like, is there going to be a later screen with more houses? And I had to, like, I ultimately had to choose to just, like, to just, you know, go with the idea that there's more houses and hope that doesn't contradict anything later. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Epic says... Um, oh man, well done though. That's hard to pull off. You're, uh, thanks, man. You're very accurate to the main structure of it, though. Excellent. Uh, thanks so much, dude. I, I I did my best. I certainly tried. Um, Epic World says um, we can both do a wiki stream at the same time. Whoa, yeah, that would be awesome. Um, would that use the go live together feature? Like, I don't 100% know how that works or how, what that does. Or, like, alternatively, would we just, like... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Um, but, yeah. Um, either way, like, uh, feel free to message me on Discord about that. Um, I got the review of Clouded Hope's video that I will upload right after this. Awesome. Flamespot says soup. No, no soup. <laughs> oh, man, Flamespot. How's it going, dude? <laughs> Oh man, now I feel like part of me is like I feel like I should eat some soup for um, you know, like in recognition of this, but but then on the other hand, uh, that would involve me eating soup, so so I'm probably not. Flamesaw <laughs> says I'm not dead. Yes, that is uh, that is uh, that is good to know. <laughs> that is uh, that is definitely good news. Um, how's everything going, Flamesaw? Um. Yeah, um, by the way, uh, Flamespot, um, as long as you're here, Flamespot says you want to eat soup, uh, that's, yeah, now that's a compelling argument you bring up, but, but then again, somehow part of me feels that I don't want to eat soup. I don't know, it's, it's complicated, complicated feelings. <laughs> um, Flamespot says pretty rough, but this past weekend wasn't bad. Oh man, dude, sorry to hear that. Warhammer didn't kill you, oh man. Well, yeah, Flame Spot. Um, if you like, um, remember, like back in the day, like three years ago, we were collaborating on a, on a like a PCG video thing. I won't like specify what it is. Um, and I feel like the reason we never did that was like a hundred and fifty percent my fault because, like, I was supposed to get you, uh, like send you voices, like voice recordings for it and I never did um would you still wanna wanna do anything with that <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you this for a while um Flamesaw says haha yepers awesome 
Yeah, um, yeah, you should uh, definitely uh, message me on Discord or or wherever, because uh, yeah, um, we should definitely do something with that, especially now that you know, now that I know how to how to do like Blender animations and stuff, we can definitely supplement the other kind of stuff that um, that uh we were we were planning to do i'm like i'm trying i'm trying to find vague ways to phrase this without giving away what it is but the uh, flame stuff says i still have the first 30 seconds of the video before voices are needed yes that's awesome i didn't even know that um okay so yeah i think i like i think i recorded like a bunch of voices for that um back in the day i just don't have all of them so once the stream is over i'm gonna um i'm gonna look through and see what kinds of uh um uh like what kinds of voices I have. Flamespot says the main problem is that all of my uh, assets I need is not with me. Oh no. And I can't have them until like May. Oh man, oh man, that sucks. May. Um well All right. Well, I guess we'll think about it. If you like I'll I'll check and see how what like what stuff like what uh voices I still have and um if you can um yeah well, yeah like uh, let me know if uh, like whenever you're able to get them i mean if it's not till may then i mean i guess that's the best we can do but we can at least start like thinking about it and maybe plan to like uh get this together starting in may if nothing else so yeah um epic says when i first got into the pcg community i saw zach's channel and starry and you oh wow that's awesome <laughs> Um, Flame of Spot says, in which I don't even know how long I'll have time for that since then I go to where the government needs me. Oh, man. That sounds good. All right. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to have to uh, do do the best we can. I will uh, let you know what voices I have. All right, you guys. Well, um, on that note, um, hopefully we can get that off the ground. That would be super cool. Um, I think this is a, a, as good a point as any to stop the stream, um, unless anyone has any last minute, you know, questions for me or whatever. Um, Epic says, awesome video as usual. See ya. Thanks so much, Epic. Uh, yeah. And, um, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Thanks to Ari for, for playing. This was an awesome, uh, playthrough. I had a lot of fun. Um, thanks to Epic for making the game. Flipsaw says, you can call me almost whenever on Discord, too, if you'd like to actually talk more. Awesome. Sounds good, dude. I will, yeah, I will, I'll, uh, I'll uh, hit you up. Um, all right. Thanks for watching, everyone. You folks are the best, as always, and PCG you later. <laughs>